Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue fabrication on the Fat Jack 56 Ford. Getting our bed back together and getting our frame, this frame in for the bed floor. We gotta tie it to our bed rails here. Bullshit! So, we need something like this. Something like something. So something, something. These are, this will get welded to here. That'll be our bed frame. Well, we got our wheel tub here, uh, did a reverse flange on it so we can bolt from the underside so you don't see it inside of the bed. This is our wood floor here, so this flange will sit right on top of there. Get all nice and clean. I don't, it's not going to look as modern, like, right. because it's rounded, the fenders are and stuff. Like, yeah, you're just making this flow into the fender and then just putting them just a straight cut. Mm -hmm. Not no lips or nothing. It's not going to have a diffuser look, you know. Right, right. that's what I was modern. getting. Man. It'll be more like yeah. cutaway, light right. up, racy kind of Because it would just be hot rod stuff. Right. A slope, and then you just radius that little edge, you know. It'd just be right. very clean and right. simple. Right, right. You'd make it just as wide as that. You know, oh, just, well, you have to, to figure go, something out yeah. where it capers back. It had to go past the fenders. I wouldn't make it. Yeah. Really yeah. Or else it does start to get look metal Too work. heavy. Yeah. yeah. It just made it as thin as you could, and then I don't know, maybe it thin here, and there's wings down into the sides. You know. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. You're talking like this. Yeah, yeah, so this piece, when this piece comes down, it have a funky cut in it. Right. Yeah. It comes down over to box all what whatever right. this is all. You need to get the fenders on and do some paper and tape. Yeah. So start to look at it. I'll start looking at taillights so we know what we should do, what we shouldn't do. None of these trucks we have have hinges so we can put this on. What about them? We got two more Fords around here, don't we? No, just no, one cab. I can get hinges. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, you keep walking by it every day. It I know. starts talking to you a little bit, come up with some ideas. That's why I kind of like having this up in the air where you're looking at the back of it. Because I think if it looks good at this level when it's down on the ground, it'll really look good.
tailgate? I don't know, these are the old brackets that we're holding the bed floor on. This made this whole new bed floor to hold it in place, so now we can take the original ones out. I gotta build a closeout panel right here to close all this off. Our wood will be sitting up on top of here. So with the tailgate on, now I can figure that out, where that lands. Oh, uh, these are too long. I have to cut these down a little. Extending the pockets just a little bit and rounding them off and see that's where the old ones stop um, And then our roll pan is going to be just a hair. It's going to come right off the bottom of this And then arch up following that arch So first I got to get all this boxed in and I'll actually put uh, Some nut shirts in here for our cross brace here to bolt into so Got to get all this cleaned up first. filler panel and blah 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 custom that we're building we we're gonna do it out of tubing but couldn't get the tubing we wanted so just bent one up out of 16 gauge I'll weld the ends on it it'll have a big arch cut out of it get her sitting up there Modifying our rail pieces, we're gonna have to have new ones made because we changed the wheel tub and stuff. But basically, recessing these down into the piece of wood so they have the exact number they need to router this out. That way, it sits flush here on the end. And our end cap will uh, cover all this. 
right here where the wheel tubs come in we're doing a extending this piece out so that it's still flush with our wood here just a little little bitty detail that makes things a lot nicer Changing these up from, they kind of had it squared off to a rounded one to match our rear ones back there. We just bent this up. Get her on there. I gotta get this stuff off first. up some tail lights we got these really cool tail lights but we couldn't use the mounts on them so we ended up making our own mount I'm just welding them up now our wires will pass through this this is hollow here so the wires will pass through here and go in here and then come out underneath the truck so you won't see the wiring basically the integrated uh, bracket into the uh, tailgate and the lights stay exactly where they're supposed to go you got them clamped down here and against this flat edge otherwise they won't so they won't be like this or in or out or anything like that they should be exactly on the money as long as they don't move while I'm walling them <laughs> that's always the big trick I'm making a fold up license plate. Electric fold up. Modified a little bit. So we got a pneumatic. Yeah, all the all the ones you can buy factory are so cheesy. Or I shouldn't say factory, but aftermarket. So we're just gonna make our own. Got one here that Scott did on a 3240. Get an idea. That's for sure.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.